December 2019, we were shocked by the coronavirus that came from the Huanan Seafood Market in Wuhan, China. It started when the virus emerged at the Wuhan Live Animal Market from an interaction between an animal and a human. This virus has spread quickly from person to person, town to town, and country to country. Globally, nearly 110 million confirmed cases of COVID-19, including 2 million deaths, have been reported to the World Health Organization. Malaysia is one of the 165 countries that has closed its school due to this pandemic. This has affected the right of education for students to be educated because due to the presence of COVID-19 virus affecting a big part of the population. Every student has the right to get a good education even in this COVID-19 era although they have used various ways to learn without having to face each other physically because it is really important to get a proper education. One of the importance of getting a proper education is to make the world a safer and more peaceful place. Education majorly affects our understanding of the difference between right and wrong. An educated person is well aware of the consequences of wrong or illegal actions. Besides, education paves the way for a successful future for students. A proper education and preparation will improve prospects for a better and easier world. The more well educated they are, the better opportunities they can get for their life. Furthermore, education can make someone have a good manner, right behavior, and be safe alive. It helps us to develop physically, mentally, and socially. Through education, one can be more mature and capable of planning in for their futures and taking the right decision in problem solving. In regards to the factors that help students process in getting a proper education, most students and even the teachers themselves lack the necessities to reach a conducive learning space and education during COVID-19 pandemic. The two fundamental instruments for education available to children during the lockdowns are distant and alternative learning and at least a homeschooling environment. We can conclude that both of these confessions express their feelings to reach a homeschooling environment that could motivate them in hoping to learn together. Challenges faced by the student is difficulty in catching up with the teaching and learning approach since they are not used to the online learning method. Therefore, it will lead them to be left behind in the subject matters. Educators also have a problem while conducting online class as they usually teach physical in class. Although online learning is supposed to supply an answer to the boredom of classroom-based learning, this is often not always the case. Last but not least is poor experience and the hardship in using educational technology during the pandemic. Over the last decade, approximately, process has been made within the number of scholars who have access to device and connectivities, making this move to online learning possible. Okay, one of the main challenges that I face during this online learning is um, I've got poor internet connection. As an architecture student, uh, the problems uh, that I've been facing during this pandemic online classes is needs the facilities such as studios and high-powered PC and face-to-face uh, crits with the lecturers. So, so that way we can uh, improvise our designs instead of online classes. Huh? As the year 2020 comes to an end, the country has seen an unprecedented change to the dynamic and culture of education due to COVID-19 pandemic, causing schools and varsities to halt operation at certain phases. The situation phase. has forced millions of students across the country to fully utilize their laptops and devices and start learning from home via online. 
The question here is: Would all students be able to get better education during COVID-19? And online learning have been all over social media since early 2020. While some of us complain about our internet connection speed, the Sabahan student Vevona Musibin had to brave hornets and spend the night high up tree to get good connectivity so she could sit for her exam. Malaysia Mail News reported that, according to Senior Minister Razi Jidin, stated that only 15% of students occupied with computers for home-based learning. He also mentioned that the lack of devices could definitely bring difficulties for students to attend online classes. On top of that, Free Malaysia Today also made a report on how students as well lecturers struggle during the hell on online classes. Students complaining of insufficiency in the teaching methods. On the other hand, the senior lecturers prefer traditional learning. The struggle is real as students are forced to subscribe to data, which over their budget, in order to get good internet connection for online classes. However. There are no problems in this world that cannot be solved. The government and authorities have strived to ensure that all students get proper education during the COVID-19 outbreak era. The solution done by the government is they ought to encourage parents to help their children in getting them to familiarize themselves with the new methods of learning. And they also implement a workshop for educators, especially teachers, in order to help them learn about the learning platform. This whole new way of learning has led to a need for more funding from the government so that all students have good access to this technology. As an example, the government of Malaysia has allocated a specific amount to fund education in Belanzawan 2021 to help the students by providing learning devices and improving the efficiency of internet connections. The government or the Ministry of Education has to play an active role and should not solely focus on the short-term effects on the students, but to start doing the research for the momentum to shape and improve the future of learning. So the solution that I have found uh, to overcome my challenge is that either I upgrade the Wi-Fi or I have to pair a backup like internet uh, prepaid. In Article 12, Clause 1A and B of Federal Constitution, it was highlighted that education right is for everyone, without prejudice and discrimination on any citizen, regardless of their religion, race, descent, or place of birth. In the administration against of any educational institution maintained by a public authority, and in the admission of pupils or student or the payment of fees or in providing out the funds of a public authority. Financial aid for the maintenance or education of peoples or students in any educational institution. This provision applies to all types of educational institution, and it can be educational institution maintained by a public authority or private sector, and it can be within or outside the country. Next is Education Act 1996. The aim of Education Act 1996 is to further consolidate the national education system for the generation. In accordance with the country's ambition of making Malaysia the center of excellence for education, and to outline the legislation related to education, this act has three general legislative provisions, which are the National Philosophy of Education 1988, consolidation of the national education system, the national language as main medium of instruction, and compulsory subject in all school and institution. In conclusion, students have their rights to get proper education, especially through COVID-19 era. At a young age, especially for children who have just entered schools, such as standard one people, who needs education for them to plan the future. Next, we have freshly graduated students who might face difficulties in searching jobs. However, for new university students, they will face so many difficulties in online learning, such as. Hardly understanding the new subjects, and if this matter cannot be curbed, this might lead to mental problems, and our country is most likely unable to produce high-quality workers. And for advice, I guess uh, don't procrastinate. Uh, procrastinate just piles up your work, and, and for quote, I guess uh, improvise, adapt, and overcome. That way, you can solve all issues. Uh. Don't give up just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible. You can do it. Just fighting.